So Simplant 2 was just recently released and I've been testing it out ever since and the potential for sound design with this thing is kind of insane. If you don't already know, Simplant uses this futuristic looking interface where we can manipulate what's called the seed along with all of these controls. If the sound you created is good, then we can just replant that as a new seed to work off of. This though only really just gets us started because there's actually a lot more cool features with this thing. Up here, for example, we have this manipulate gene window. In here, you'll find this DNA looking structure that shows you all of the parameters to edit. And we'll also find two oscillators and some basic effects like reverb and saturation. In this window, we can edit all these parameters and even put automations on each one if we want to. But we haven't even touched on my absolute favorite aspect of this plugin so far. And that would have to be the ability to load in your own sounds. You see, in this window, we can load up a sample at which point the plugin does something really cool. The plugin will basically interpret the sample, then use an AI algorithm in an attempt to recreate the sound using the parameters available. So from there, we can manipulate it in the same way that we would any other sound, and this can lead us to some pretty unexpected results. So while editing, I thought it would be a good idea to showcase a sound that I made with Simplant. So this Reese sound was made in the same way I just described, where I took a bass sample and loaded it into Simplant. Which, by the way, there is no drag and drop feature, so you have to individually click through the folders to load up your samples. After that though, it was just a matter of tweaking the oscillators and a few other parameters, some of which I even put an automation on. The rest is really just putting processing on it to bring out everything that I did so far. So after a bit of time, I was able to put this rough draft of something together. This thing is honestly just fun to mess with, and I do recommend it for anyone looking to take a less standard approach towards sound design. The sounds you can make are super unique, and the interface and all of its parameters are pretty easy to understand. And they were even nice enough to include a free 3-week trial too, so you may want to check it out if you haven't yet. <laughs> 